and welcome back to some more range rounded right now i have managed to do a little <laughs> not a lot but uh, i did have a tiny bit of time i also did build a tiny little bit with my daughter on my lap so i'm, I'm not sure what this is supposed to be but i was trying to make some stones like regular stones that could be littered around but um, as you can see it uh, it's not really successful <laughs> So, uh, but yes, I've built a little bit of a house like so, and then crooked house like so. Yeah, it does look like it's uh, right about to fall down. Not really my intention, but again, building freehand. Now, something that I've also done, place, place down a trampoline, but I've also uh, made a little bit more progress when it comes to the sewer now. It's not a lot of progress, I must say. I still need to connect all of the uh, entrances, and I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to do the walls, because this is gonna get very narrow very fast. But, I mean, for now it is sorta of kinda of working. And I also do have this trampoline thingy so that I can get up to my main base. Now, it's a little bit hard to, ooh, <laughs> to get down. There is a technique. Uh, that I can use. Then again, I can also just, you know, place down. Yeah, there we go. Place down. Use the glider a little bit. Now, I have not given up on this area yet. I think that there's going to be an entrance here to some sort of underground dwarven kingdom, I think. But, yeah, the sewers are most likely going to be visible from the outside. So, yeah, there's a... Uh, hmm. There's a lot of stuff that I can do. Now, I'm also creating a fair bit of different trees. I have not really done much with that. Let's see, yeah, this tree is done. What about these things? Okay, no, I know. Yeah, might as well plant all of these. You need a lot of revelwood red leaf seedlings because, uh, you know, the resin. Let's see, let's create a couple of these uh, trees as well. That should be, maybe. And the last pair of trees should be this thing. Now, hang on. Yucca palm seedling. Hmm. Okay, so I am creating a fair bit of trees. Now, I'm thinking that I'm gonna start just placing a few around this area. Again, most likely gonna be trees that I have use for. So, right now, and I think I can just place these anywhere. Maybe. We will see. Okay, I'm placing them a fair bit closer together, at least as close as I can. Now, I've learned a trick that I can just look down, hold down, left click, and yes, basically create something like a show. And then the trees will be fairly close to each other. At least it will be easier to chop down. Now, again, it's a little bit too close to the edge, but uh, that's probably gonna be fine, just fine. Yeah, you can see that some of these trees require more space than the others. And again, this might take a buttload of time. Hang on, how long do I have three more? Say what new? Okay, well, I'm not gonna complain. Okay, so the tree farm is up and running soon-ish. But if I place down farm soil, I think they would grow faster. Again, I've increased the productivity to the max, so these should be grown fairly soon. How fast, I'm not sure. And yeah, I think that I'll create a forest in this area. Now, I was planning to extend whatever I have over here, because I could extend it all the way to the edge. Make a few of these houses, but I do enjoy that it's, um, you know, it's not too many buildings. And especially since all of these are created freehand with no particular thought whatsoever. Yes. Well, I had a little bit of a swing, a little bit like a show. Oh, and I've also extended... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, uh, it's uh, it's harder than it looks. Oh, okay. Uh, right. <laughs> like a so, and then like a so. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's a little bit harder than it looks, but now I can get to the very top, and then I can eventually build further up, because I'm not sure how high I can actually build. But at least now we get a good overview of the base. Very much so. Now, yeah, there's still a lot more that I need to do in that area. I'm thinking that I will just extend 
either the grass or the flower soil. Now the flower soil is very green, I must say. Doesn't necessarily fit too well with the environment, but yeah, I need to close it down somehow and at least <laughs> remove all of the gaps. Now, one issue that I will also have is that from down below this direction, this does not look good. Yeah, I need to create some sort of uh, incline that encapsulates the mountain, maybe even with flower soil. But yes, we will see. Oh, oh, and a bubbly pop. Yeah, things are, things are starting to shape up. But yeah, I do also need something more in this area because it looks very empty, very gray. Now, I think that a bunch of fences, maybe some barrels and a well or two around would liven up the place. But again, we might also get, you know, townsfolk. Hmm. Then I might have a reason, I mean, depending on how it works, to actually create proper houses. Now, as for the craft people, all of them are in my house. I mean, it's fairly crowded in here. There's maybe going to be more people in the mountains. Who knows? A mountain hermit would be fancy to create maybe some mountainous armor. Because we're not sure yet if they're gonna keep, like, the snow debuff that we had in the beginning of the game when you were actually able to get to the snow. Snowy area. Now I have plenty of footage of that. So you get slowed down when you're in the snow, but again, nothing that you could do with said snow. Yeah, it also looks like the area that I explored all the way over here. Yeah, I've been a fair bit up the mountains. That they've removed all the snow from the mountain tops and basically made it like regular mountains, not snowy tops like so. Hmm. Now I've also. <laughs> uh, I mean, I did finally update my graphics drivers, but it does not fix this issue with, like, the red pouring down, whatever is happening here. I thought it fixed the issue a little bit, but yeah, there's something weird going on, most definitely. It only affects, like, the top half of the map. Hmm. Strange stuff is going on, but hopefully it will be fixed soon with the update. And yeah, I do need to finish up the wall. Uh, but again, that is gonna take time. Hmm. Well, it's been about 10 minutes already, but none of the trees have spurted, grown, not even a little bit. Hmm. Well, I have managed to gather up a fair bit of these things, so I just will plant a few. Now, when it comes to this area, yeah, okay, I think I'll just test it out. I'll just place a bunch of these trees around in no particular order, just a little bit here and there, maybe. So then we get a tiny little bit of a forest over here. Okay, that's those, and the rest of the trees I think I will space properly around this area. Okay, I'm not sure how close I can make these. I think these are like the big trees that are supposed to be in Nomad Highlands. Maybe, we will see. Or maybe these are the ones, and it's gonna be interesting. Now, most likely I will not keep the forest, but uh, I do need quite a bit of wood. So we will see how this goes. Now, there's also a bajillion other... Uh, plants that I could plant around that would liven up the place. So we will see. I do know that I also need some hmm, strawberries in order to make that healing food, but uh, let's see. Yeah, I've taken a little bit of dexterity, so now I have 12 dexterity, 19 strength. And I'm thinking when the update comes, I'll just continue to level up a little bit in the archery tree. As much as I like being a melee, I do enjoy being able to fire an arrow and potentially kill something. And it's going to be real interesting to see how the ice birds are, <laughs> how much of a challenge they will be. Right, let's see. Yeah, we have a couple of wolves over here. Should be fairly easy. Oh, okay, two hits. Not bad. Yeah, not bad at all. Just the last one over there. Oh, come on, man. Here. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, let's just gather up a little bit. I do need the wolf meat. Well, I'm using the iron arrows, so they do give up a little bit extra. Now, what did I need? Now, I've created a fair bit of the green illumination to blocks, so that I could uh, create some sort of lightning, light, lightning, lighting in the sewer system. Hmm. But I mean, it does not really give off that much lighting, I think. Now, it is fairly dark, so I probably need some more, most likely. Now these areas, yeah, I think that I'll just uh, hollow out a little bit of that and get right back to business. 
Now, I've said a lot of stuff that I do want to test out, but again, I do need to be a little bit productive. So it's going to be a short video. I'm going to see how this works, and hopefully by the next time I have something even more productive to show off. Most likely. Yeah, I need to do a lot of details around. But anyhow, okay, I'm continuing to build, but I do have a fair bit of responsibilities. <laughs> oh, so I need, I need to do some cleaning. But anyhow, as always, until next time.